All right, direct variation is a special case of y equals mx plus b, where b equals 0. Y-intercept is always 0 on these, okay? So direct variation is described by an equation of the form y equals kx. k is just used when we're talking about direct variation. Um, another variable for constant of variation, that's just what is used, okay? If you want to write y equals mx, that's totally fine also called the constant of proportionality though, okay? So when we look at, so we're looking at this first line right here, y equals negative 2x. That's considered direct variation because the y-intercept is 0, all right? The constant of variation is negative 2, which also happens to be the slope, okay? In number 2, y equals 3 halves x. 3 halves is your constant. Find the slope of the line. Gee, that's also up 3 over 2. All right, so 3 halves. What do you notice? The slope equals the constant of variation. Okay, so what point does the direct variation graph always cross? We've talked about that, the point zero, 0, the origin. All right, so now first we're going to look at some applications. Um, one of the most common applications is the distance equals rate times time, okay? D equals RT. That's one of the most common applications there is. So a family drove their car 225 miles in 5 hours. Well, that's going to be D. 5 hours is your T. So if you do 225 equals rate times 5, when we divide by 5, we get 45 equals R. So what's your direct variation equation? Distance equals 45 times the time driven. Okay, that's your direct variation equation. 45 is your rate or your constant. In the retail one, the total cost of bulk jelly beans is 449 times the number of pounds. So cost equals 449 times the number of pounds P. That's your direct variation equation. Okay, now graph it. When we graph it, it always goes through 0, 0. And then this is your slope, right? 449 over 1. Up 449 over 1. Up 449 over 1. Pay careful attention to what your values are on your intervals. Okay, and then find the cost of 3 fourths of a pound of jelly beans. We just do C equals 449 times 3 fourths. Okay, and figure out what that equals. Let's see, 449 times 3 fourths, 3 dollars, and now it's 3.3675, so a little lesson here, make sure it's dollars and cents, so it's going to be 3 dollars and 37 cents, okay, 3 dollars and 37 cents. So, you have a U try, go ahead and do that, and then pick up after that. Okay, writing and solving direct variation equations. What you always need to remember is it's in the form direct variation is y equals kx or y equals mx. Okay, so this first one. We have suppose y varies directly as x. Right there it tells you you have y equals kx. y equals 30 when x equals 5. So y equals 30 when x equals 5. Divide by 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So we get k equals 6. So our direct variation equation would be y equals 6x. Now, find x when y equals 18. So now we plug in 18. Oh, right down here. Use the direct variation equation to find x when y equals 18. 18 goes in for y, and we solve for x. Divide by 6, we get x equals 3. Okay, x equals 3. The next slide is your U try. Go ahead and make sure you write your direct variation equation first. Okay, solve for that K value or for the slope. Write the equation and then use that equation to answer the second part of the problem. Okay, so there you have it. There's direct variation.